Hi, this is Hilal. In this video on mathematical economic series, we will try to solve a problem on Cobb Douglas production function. And in that, we have to find the average productivity of labor and number of uh, variables are also being given here. The question is like this a Cobb Douglas production function with inputs, capital, and labor is homogeneous of degree 1. We have a Cobb Douglas production function of degree 1. Okay and his output elasticity of capital equal to 0 0.4 our output elasticity of uh, capital is 0 0.4 if marginal product of labor is 15 at a value of the capital labor ratio equal to 20 that means when capital labor ratio is 20 at that time we have mpl equal to 15. we have to find uh, the average product of labor at the same value of capital labor ratio the options are 7.5 100 upon 3 25 or 50 okay let us see how to break this question first what is our uh, cobb douglas production function so i will write here our cobb, cobb douglas production is given like this y is equal to k to the power alpha l to the power 1 minus alpha okay actually we have also the total factor productivity but we will not write because the question does not tell us anything about the total factor productivity so i will delete this here or of this here so we have the cobb production function here it is homogeneous of degree one by homogeneity of degree one we mean simply if inputs are doubled our output also gets doubled if inputs are increased by a factor three our output will also increase by a factor three okay that means doubling the input will lead to doubling the output this is meant by out uh, that is uh, this is meant by homogene homogeneity of degree one okay and has output elasticity of capital equal to 0 0.4 we have output elasticity of capital equal to 0 0.4 that means the share of capital uh, in the cobb douglas production function is 40 percent okay if marginal product of labor is also 15 we are also being given the marginal product of labor so i will write what we are being given we have a cobb douglas production function it is homogeneous of degree one okay so this alpha tells us the share of capital in total output this one minus alpha tells us share of labor in total output okay so we have output elasticity i will write like this output elasticity of uh, capital which is given us as 0 0.4 okay also we are being given that marginal product of labor is given as 15 capital labor ratio is given as 20 sorry it is capital labor ratio is 20 that's true okay we have to find the average product of labor okay we have to find this very thing now let us see if our Cobb Douglas production function is homogeneous of degree one. This zero, this output elasticity of capital is 0 0.4. That means alpha plus one minus alpha should be equal to one. That means uh, this implies uh, output elasticity of capital plus output elasticity of labor should be equal to one because it is homogeneous of degree one that means alpha plus one minus alpha should be equal to one in place of alpha we have this 0 0.4 and in place of one minus alpha we can easily calculate it so that means output elasticity of labor will be equal to one minus output elasticity of capital okay this comes out to be since this is 0 0.4 we can add 1 minus 0 0.4 and it comes out to be 0 0.6 so output elasticity of labor is equal to 0 0.6 okay now to find the average product of labor what we need to find we need to find first the marginal product of labor okay so we need to find the marginal 
product of labor okay it is simply the incremental change in the labor sorry change in output with one unit change in the labor which is simply equal to the partial derivative of our Cobb Douglas production function with respect to labor okay so we need to partially differentiate our Cobb Douglas production function with respect to labor okay so since we are differentiating with respect to L so we have L to the power 1 minus 1 sorry 1 minus alpha uh, we have like this this is alpha 1 minus let me write it properly here we have L to the power 1 minus alpha its derivative is simply this 1 minus alpha becomes coefficient okay we have L 1 minus alpha and this 1 minus alpha is subtracted by 1 okay this is by power function rule let us say we have x to the power n okay if we have let me write it properly i am just trying to make myself clear here so if we have let us say x to the power n we have to find the derivative of this then what happens this n becomes coefficient okay and we have x and this n is subtracted by 1 okay this is the power function rule that means let us say we have x to the power 6 its derivative is simply this 6 will become the coefficient we have x 6 minus 1 so this is 6 x to the power 5 okay i am just using that very uh, power function rule here So we have dy upon dl will be equal to so 1 minus alpha will become the coefficient we have 1 minus alpha k to the power alpha l to the power 1 minus alpha minus 1 okay I have shown you here so this comes out to be this comes out to be uh, 1 minus alpha k to the power alpha l to the power minus 1 plus 1 gets cancelled we are left with minus alpha okay so we have uh, this uh, what we call k to the power alpha l to the power minus alpha this is our marginal product of labor okay now what we need to find we need to find the, similarly we can find marginal product of capital marginal product of capital is simply uh, differentiating this time with respect to k so this alpha will become coefficient as i have shown you by the power function rule k alpha minus one this term will remain same as it is because we are differentiating with respect to l sorry k, k here also we have one minus alpha this is marginal productivity of capital okay now let me uh, write it properly here now what is output elasticity of labor output elasticity of labor is simply dy upon dl into l upon y okay so what is meant by this it is same as we calculate the price elasticity of demand okay in price elasticity of demand we have elasticity of price that is price elasticity of demand is given by dq upon dp into p by q okay similarly we have output elasticity of demand here sorry the output elasticity of capital uh, uh, that is output elasticity of labor is dy upon dl into l upon y okay so i have made n number of videos on price elasticity of demand you can easily see how do we calculate price elasticity of demand okay now what is dy upon dl we have calculated dy upon dl is 1 minus alpha k to the power alpha and l to the power minus alpha so in place of dy upon dl we have this very term into l upon what is y y is this uh, k to the power alpha l to the power 1 minus alpha okay or it can be written like this 
k and k and this gets cancelled this term so we have 1 minus alpha we have 1 minus alpha so l and l we have basis same we can add the exponents this becomes l to the power 1 minus alpha and it is divided by this l to the power 1 minus alpha okay these two terms will get cancelled this l to the power 1 minus alpha 1 minus alpha so we are left with elasticity of sorry output elasticity of labor is equal to 1 minus alpha okay but here we can also rearrange this okay so i can write like this but elasticity output elasticity of labor can be written if we rewrite this very function this will become dy upon dl okay whole divide whole divide by so i will write here Mm, output elasticity of labor can be written like this dy upon dl if we transpose this to the denominator it will get reciprocated so we have y upon l okay y upon l now what is this thing dy upon dl dy upon dl is our marginal function okay so this is our marginal function y upon l is our average function okay so what is our elasticity of demand is also equal to marginal function upon average function so here this dy upon dl is marginal productivity of labor so i will write m p l in place of dy upon dl in place of y upon l this is simply average product of labor total output upon labor gives us average product, product of labor so average product of labor can be written as a p l okay so we have calculated also this output uh, elasticity of demand is equal to 0 0.6 so i can write here but output elasticity of labor which we have calculated was 0 0.6 if output elasticity of uh, labor is 0 0.6 so in place of this i can write 0 0.6 which implies 0 0.6 is equal to what is marginal product of labor this is given as 15 so i will write here 15 upon average product of labor okay average product of let me write it correctly uh, average product of labor okay if we multiply them so we have 0 0.6 in place of 0 0.6 i can write 6 upon 10 6 upon 10 into a p l is equal to 15 or a p l is equal to 15 if we transpose this term this will get reciprocated here 10 upon 6 so we have two ones are sorry two threes are two fives are and we have three ones are three fives are so we get 5 into 5 is equal to 25 that means our average product of labor will be equal to 25 i hope i make myself clear in this video so i will explain again we were being told that we have a cobb douglas production function of degree one by degree one we simply mean that if we uh, double our inputs our output will also get doubled okay so we have a homogeneous uh, that means the sum of the exponents here sum of the exponents of capital and labor should be equal to one okay and has output elasticity of capital equal to 0 0.4 output of uh, output elasticity of capital simply means if we change our capital by one unit our output will get increased or change by 0 0.4 unit that means if we increase capital by one unit our output will get increased by 0 0.4 units that is the uh, meaning of the output elasticity of capital okay also we were given that marginal product of labor is 15 okay 
marginal product of labor is given as 15 at a value of capital labor ratio equal to 20 so we have to do nothing with this very thing capital labor ratio it was just to uh, confuse uh, the students here okay we were told to find the average product of labor at the same value of capital labor ratio okay now how do we solve first we wrote the Cobb Douglas production function our output output elasticity of capital was 0 0.4 but output elasticity of capital plus output elasticity of labor is equal to 1. Here this is alpha. This means alpha plus uh, 1 minus alpha. It is equal to 1. Here we can also verify this. In place of alpha, uh, this output elasticity of capital, we have 0 0.4. This is our alpha. So when we solve, we got output elasticity of labor is equal to 0 0.6. After that, we found the marginal product of labor simply the partial derivative of Cobb Douglas, produ Cobb Douglas production function with respect to labor gives us the marginal product of capital also we found here marginal product of capital which was not to be which was not required but i just showed how to calculate this okay after that we used the output elasticity of capital formula or output elasticity formula this is simply dy upon dl into l upon k l upon y which is simply as we write the price elasticity of demand formula formula is same but here the slope is uh, this is positive term here okay now what is dy upon dl dy upon dl we have calculated this comes out to be this very term so i wrote it here l i wrote as it is in place of y we have this uh, production function when we solve we got 1 minus alpha also 1 minus alpha was our this thing it is also here 1 minus alpha we can write it is 1 minus alpha here if we solve it here we could have got this 1 minus alpha here also okay after that what we uh, did uh, we uh, rearranged this uh, output elasticity of labor formula we write dy upon dl and transposing this on uh, denominator uh, it will get uh, reciprocated so this becomes here marginal function this became average function so output elasticity of labor is equal to marginal productivity of labor uh, divided by average product of labor okay so when we solve this we got the value output elasticity of labor we have calculated 0 0.6 in place of MPL which was given us 15 after that we got average product of labor is equal to 20 five okay uh, if we can shortcut method would have been shortcut method i guess would have been if you know this very thing uh, this very relation that output elasticity of labor is equal to mpl upon apl okay then our mpl was given us as 15 okay output elasticity of labor was 0 0.6 we can we could have easily used it if we know this relation very relationship we don't require to derive it i just derive it to make uh, it understand understandable uh, for you people otherwise you can easily calculate them then if you know this very relation very relationship then our question then our uh, solution would have been like this it would have been simply output elasticity of labor is equal to average function sorry marginal function marginal function divided by average function so we that is mpl upon apl other things were given we have calculated 0 0.6 so 0 0.6 is equal to mpl was 15 and apl which we need to calculate so you can just